cancer what is going on my loves it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again one time for the one time to let you know what's going on for mid month march lord i'm talking about march what the hell happened to y'all in march mid month may okay i am here to let you know what is going on for mid may all right for all my cancers for the 15th through the 31st okay thank you so much again for clicking this video thank you guys for all of the likes shares and the subscribe and for clicking this video if there's anyone that would like to book a personal private reading with scorpion red several all you have to do is go over to that about tab what you want to do is book and then link me up okay book and then link okay so click that link that says scorpion red several at simply book me again it says scorpion red several at simply book me and you can find my links at the about tab on my youtube page okay so go ahead and select the reading and book it with me then once you finish you need to connect with me all right so you need to link up with me my instagram link is right under that booking link okay so click that and just send me a personal message and just say hey res is so and so i booked with you on this day so we can connect on that platform and we can do the video chat for your reading okay my love now if you do not have an instagram or if you don't want to use it, um, you can connect with me through Google Hangouts, okay? It's a simple app. Just download it. And you can send me a message using my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com, okay? If you do not want to get on camera or if you want a video recap of our reading, all you have to do is purchase the $10 add-on video recap add-on. And what you need to do is, uh, if you don't want to get on camera, when you link up with me after booking your session, just say, hey, whereas I don't want to get on camera, um, can you just, I, I purchased the private upload, so can you just upload it? This is what I want to know. So when you send me your question or questions, just only tell me what you want to know. Don't tell me the situation surrounding your relationship or whatever is going on with you because I don't want you to say oh I just told you that so only tell me what you want to know okay and then like I said once you connect with me on that platform I send you the link to the videos um you know on there and then we'll be Gucci okay just keep in mind though if you do choose to do the private direct upload and we don't have the face-to-face -face chat we won't be able to communicate back and forth like we would on the video chat so just keep that in mind okay but I understand some people just don't want to get on camera which is cool so um if you want to send love and light to the page I want to send shout out to my girl Callie she used the Amazon wish list and this came to me as a surprise knock on my door from Amazon on Mother's Day at 1 11 p.m. and it was such a blessing I've been using this in the morning for my daily insight and it has been a blessing to me on a personal level and we will be using that deck today so shout out to my girl Callie thank you so much for supporting my page and just sending love and light and just you know sending thanks I really appreciate all of the love that you guys send um also the uh the tea readings oh the tea readings that you guys been getting that you guys seem to love so much. The reason how I got these is because you guys send love um, just through the PayPal. So I just appreciate all of the support that you guys have been giving. Because it's allowed my page to grow. And for me to put a different flavor on here to give you guys different insight every month. So thank you guys so much. And if you want to support the page, only thing you got to do is check out the about tab. You'll see my Amazon wish list and my PayPal link in the about and in the description. Let's get into the reading cancer. Thank you God so much for bringing this here for the sign of cancer. Thank you so much for just being determined and moving forward and trying to find new life, new light and prosperity in our life. Um, we're just really focused on new beginnings and focus on our family and our foundation and just you know feeling happy like that's just like really the center we just want to feel happy we want to feel just I feel refreshed like it just a, a we need like an exhale like oh, it's over like I just like I really just feel like someone would just want something to be over so um and what's playing in the background? That crazy little tingly feeling pain in your chest that you feel that fire. Just let it burn. Somebody's in love. Cause there's no running when it's your turn. Somebody's in love. Spirit is telling me to tell you there's no running when it's your turn. I feel like someone has been trying to hide from love. And they've been trying not to love and succumb to their emotions 
call me crazy but i think i found the love of my life someone is in love spirit give me guidance thank you so much for all your divine light and your messages father god please give me guidance for the sign of cancer for mid month may the 15th to the 31st oh my goodness i just feel like some oh it's, it was just like in the pit of my stomach. Like something's like the song, the song. I know it's scary. But something always get hurt when you care. Environment. That came out when I did the pre-shuffle. Let it burn. There's no running. When it's your turn, let it go. Y'all give me a second. I just need to look at this card because this card came out when I was doing the pre-shuffle. I feel like cancer is, they getting some order into their life. Like they in some like. They are getting some order into their motherfucking life. Like, they are, like, working hard as shit. They just want to be stable. They trying to solve some problems. I, I didn't I say I just wanted to be over. Like, they solving problems right now. They are cleaning their environment. And they healing that heart chakra. That, that song in the background is no running. When it's your turn. Just let it burn. Oh my gosh, like that shit is in the pit of my damn stomach. I cannot not focus on that song right now. It's like, I feel like cancer is like giving in to whatever their heart is feeling. Like whatever their heart is feeling right now, I just feel like they just letting that shit burn right now. They are really giving into whatever their heart is wanting. They just letting that shit burn. It's like if their heart is feeling love, they ain't fighting that shit no more. And I feel like they are cleaning up their environment to receive love in every shape, form, and fashion. The number four, they want to be reliable. They want to have like a strong foundation. I feel like they want peace. They want order. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to manage things in their life right now. I wanted to pick it. I wanted to pick this back up again. Let me see what else I got. Let's see. Parenting. Parenting. You guys are focusing on cleaning up your environment in regards to parenting. And with that, the environment, it was all heart chakra. And then at the bottom is spiritual partnership. I feel like this has significance too. Okay, so, all right, so we got three cards right here. All right, so number one, like I said, you're cleaning up your environment, and I feel like you're following your heart and you succumbing to your heart's desire. You guys are focusing on your parenting. You're like your solar plexus chakras. You guys are trying to figure out what it is that you do want in your life and i feel like right now you're focusing on trying to get your um third eye chakra and your throat chakra together to be able to really truly see what it is that you want where you want your life to go so that you can do what it is you need to do you know what i'm saying and most importantly it's like most importantly this is about doing the act of what you really want done what your mind know your third eye chakra your third eye chakra encourages and opens up honest communication and speaking to one's mind you know what i'm saying so it's like how can you use your throat chakra to speak knowledge and truth and understanding if you don't see what your honest communication is you know what i'm saying so it's like number one needing to see intuitively what it is that your spirit is really yearning for what your spirit is yearning for and is yearning for a spiritual partnership okay this is someone here with this this is the crown chakra someone that truly understands you and also that is that root chakra someone that knows who you are like someone who 
who knows who you are, someone that you feel protected, like a protected partnership. Both of y'all are aware of each other. Y'all ground each other. Like, I feel like someone that truly understands you and keeps you rooted, keeps you grounded, like spiritually, mentally, physically, on like a 5D type of thing, like a serious, like y'all y'all are looking for a spiritual connection and y'all are trying to get your, you're trying to get yourself together. So you're trying to get your environment together for your heart and so that you can be the best parent that you can be and communicate your needs and regards to trying to work together with someone in parenting. It's like, you know what you got to do. So it's just like finding the energy to do it and saying it. You know what I'm saying? And you focusing on a spiritual partnership. Now let's get into it. Come on, Cancer. I feel like someone is most definitely in love. They're cleaning up their environment. And they're surrendering to the feelings of love. Focusing on their family. And kind of calling a spiritual partner. I feel like there's somebody that cancer feels on a spiritual level. Yes, you hear all these songs in the background? This Ariana Grande and 2 Chainz. Young, what is going on? Cancer is in love, boy. I love this energy, Cancer. Give me guidance about Cancer. What is this? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Swords. Whoa, you're having to go through some battles. Cutting motherfuckers out. You're cutting out the misfortune. Queen of Pentacles. The magician in reverse. Not giving this person no acknowledgement. I feel like right now y'all are slowing down y'all commitment in regards to how much you're giving to a person. Like, I, I feel like you're slowing down on how much you're giving to a person and might have halted the amount of support that you're providing to someone. I feel like there's been a lot of volatile arguments and fighting going on with somebody and like cancer ain't for it. Like that's no 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 no. I'm not I'm not I'm not doing that with nobody. You know what I'm saying? So cancer is most definitely um possibly stop supporting somebody because they tired of fucking arguing and fighting. I feel like this shit has possibly gotten violent. Got really fucking deranged and crazy. And anytime where I feel like cancer feel like they gonna have to raise their hand and hit somebody, then it's like anytime when this shit is escalating over just arguments and it's getting physical, it's time for me to motherfucker cut you out. And I feel like right now, um, cancer took the crown off in a situation and cemented it in the ground and stuck their sword in it. It's just like, I know within the shot of, the doubt of my mind, I don't want this. Whatever this, whatever this thing, because they put a new crown on. They crowned they self, they've crowned, they said so they giving themselves a bigger crown. They ain't want it. And they know they don't want it. And they submitted it in the ground. And they've, and they've crowned themselves the king of just, like a fight, like this, 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 this cancer, they cut somebody out that it was too much fucking argument and drama. They're not supporting this person no more. They cut this person out. They threw that crown down and they crowned themselves. They're single right now. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they're searching their new world because, you know, anything that's bringing them misfortune and drama and, you know, they're not dealing with it. They're not dealing with it. And I feel like between this King of Swords and this Queen of Pentacles, there's like a bout of just like a, a fixated level of just misfortune and drama here between these two people 
and he don't want to be with this person no more. I feel like it's, you see how she's offering something his way and he's like, fuck no. I don't want this shit. I don't want nothing that you're offering me at all. You come with too much drama. Okay, so Cancer might possibly be dating a, well, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn woman. Okay? But I feel like they look at this person like, you just bring me a whole bunch of drama. Whatever you're offering to me, you're offering. It's like a lot of manipulation and trickery and just like, I feel like Cancer feels like this person is offering them something like a like um what is that what is that fairy tale where it's like the girl bit the poison apple like sleeping beauty ass type of shit like this person is doing some type of magic on cancer like I do feel like this person feel, like cancer feels like this person like oh ooh, I was about to say cursed ooh I feel like I feel like whatever. This thing is that this person offered to cancer, cursed him with misfortune. Like this person cursed him with misfortune. And they're not giving this person attention anymore because it was nothing. I feel like they, they feel cursed. I'm sorry. They feel cursed. Like some, like this like someone handed them a poison apple and they knew good and damn well that they put a spell on it or something like Sleeping Beauty or something. And like they offered Cancer this apple like, here, aren't you hungry? And Cancer was like, yeah, like I've, you know, I've had a long journey and, you know, I went through a lot of shit and they're just happy someone was acknowledging them, you know? Because I feel like there's something about this attention and being acknowledged here. There's something about... They don't want the attention from this person anymore. I feel like before they liked the attention and they liked how this person was always giving to them until they realized what was behind it. Like this motherfucker put a spell on me or some shit. This person cursed, you know, cursed me. Cursed my future to, you know what I'm saying, nothing but misfortune. Yeah, they feel like this person like casted a bout of misfortune over their life. And they don't want to take care of this person. They don't want nothing that this person is offering them anymore. And I feel like maybe they're just cleaning their environment. And they're just focusing on parenting. Because the Queen of Pentacles is most definitely a mother. So this is someone that they have children with. But I feel like they, this person uses their power. This is like a master magician or something like that. This person, you or so they think. No, this person is pretty good at, 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 at whatever type of magic that they're using. Give me guidance. It's been very violent. It's a very violent relationship. A lot of drama. A lot of drama. The main male... This year, like I said, this King of Swords don't want to be the main male no more. It's, you know, they ain't trying to be with you no more. I was in the reverse. And I already told you the King of Swords is already about cutting shit out. Oh, shit. Ooh. The child in reverse. So I feel like there was an unwanted child or maybe that there's a child that's not theirs. Change. It leaving. I, yeah, this person feel like they're not the main male. They're not the main person to this child. And they're leaving. They're changing. They're moving. They are not They are not the main man to this child. Like, it's not their child. Like, they're not the man. And it's not my baby. And change. Packing up and leaving. Angel or this person just don't want this child. But I feel like this person feels like this child isn't their child. Like this person. Yeah. I feel like this person is trying to trick them into committing and taking care. Oh, remember I said that this cancer said that they're not taking care of them no more. Cancer feels like this person is trying to trick them into. Listen. This person is trying to trick them into taking care of a child, of a baby that's not them. That's not theirs. 
give me guidance on this on this magician and his queen of pentacles please they said that they're not the main male so that means like the main male that they that means there must be someone else like they're not the main male someone else or it's a child that they don't want and they're they're moving they're packing up and changing their environment. I see yeah, they're changing their environment. Okay, oh my god. Oh, what came out? Great fortune. Concern. Oh, great fortune concerns with this woman. Sending a message. So it's, it's a message surrounding great fortune concerns. Ooh. Coffin. Adjudication. Ooh. Whoever this woman is, she like, I don't give a fuck if you think that this is your baby or not. Prove it in court, bitch. Okay? So, um, to... I'm about to send you a message that you might need to be concerned about in regards to this child that you said that ain't yours that you don't want, motherfucker. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like, but cancer really does feel like... They wasn't the only man. I wasn't the main man. Like, this child is not mine. And that's why they left. And this motherfucker's like, no, bitch. It's great fortune concerns. And they're sending a message. Great fortune concerns. And they're sending a message to Cancer about this great fortune concerns surrounding this child. Do you understand? So either there was... Either there was a death or just the ending... Either there was a death or just an ending to the relationship... There was an ending to the relationship, and just because there was an ending to the relationship don't mean that this motherfucker going to let you just get away scot-free. They going to see you in court, and you going to pay for it, like, regardless if you, regardless if you ended this situation or not, don't mean that you not going to communicate with me, like, motherfucker, like, <laughs> Clarify this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, please. For the King of Swords. Clarify this um, Wheel of Fortune in the reverse for the King of Swords. Community. Community. They felt like this person was for, like this person was for the community. Main female. Mature woman. Oh, there was a main female and there was a mature woman. So someone was out in the community cheating. There was there was there was more than one woman. There was more than one woman. Yeah, and there was a marriage. There was a commitment. But someone was out in the community. Mm. There was a gift that someone didn't want. Thief and message of concern. So, I feel like... Okay. So, what happened in regards to this misfortunate, <laughs> unfortunate situation? Someone didn't know how to stop being out in the community. Um, like, this is... Whoever this is, ever the cancer or... Because cancer feels like this woman was, was, was out there. But the um, but the unfortunate thing is, is I feel like Cancer wasn't innocent in the situation because at the same time, I feel like Cancer is realizing that their need for attention is what really bought them all of this misfortune. Their, their need for attention to be wanted and be had by everyone, like, it's just like, it's bought them so much drama and it bought them a child that they didn't want. There's a main female that they don't want to be with. 
Okay, so the main male, main female. Okay? But then there's a mature woman in the situation. So, this main female, do you understand? It matches with the main male. He don't want to be with her. He want to be with the mature woman. The one that's older than the main female. Whichever one. This one, the older one. He wants to be with the older woman. He wants to be with the older woman. Because remember, this cancer feels like the main female. They feel like they wasn't the main male. But this woman wasn't the main female neither. But this, this cancer was in the marriage. This cancer was committed. Even though I feel like this person wanted to be married to. This I feel like this is the one that cancer wants to marry. The older one. This is the one that was just out in the community. That they just so happened to get with. But they don't want to be with the, this one. But I feel like this is the one that they're going through all of this drama with. This is the one that they're going to court with. This is the one with this parenting thing. Main, man, main, female. Older woman, wedding card. This is the one that they want. This is the one that they want, the older woman. That's the one that they love. But they had, they received an unfortunate gift. They received an unfortunate gift, something that they didn't necessarily want. They feel like this person tricked or trapped them. You know what I'm saying? They feel like they were trapped. Like they were set up. This thief car, this thief car. Do you see this woman is talking to this man, trying to distract him while the child is robbing him? That's how this person feels. Like he was set up. It was, you know what I'm saying? It was set up. So I feel like this person feels like this person tried to steal him away from somebody. Or like however this person intentionally tried to steal him away. Because it says thief. It's a thief, but this person feels set up. And they were given a gift that they didn't fucking want. Like, so... Yeah. So... And then it's like, message of concerns. It's like... I feel like... I feel like... This person... Okay, so in regards to, I feel, okay, so uh, I feel like Cancer was out in the community in search for attention, bumped into a main female, ended up getting into all this drama with this main female. Clearly, there's parenting involved. There's a spiritual partnership. There's a spiritual partnership here. There's two different women. There's a spiritual partnership. Cancer's trying to get their heart together so they can focus on the one that they truly love and the one that they realize that they want to marry now. Which is the main, which is the mature woman, which is the mature woman, the older woman. And I feel like with this magician and this, and this, and this queen of pentacles, I feel like this queen of pentacles buys cancer's affection. Buys cancer's affection and cancer feels like this person. Sorry. Cancer feels like this person tries to cast some type of spells or something on them or try to trap them and set them up by giving them a gift by giving them a gift that they didn't want it's like because remember i told you this women keep giving them something it's giving them something giving them something that's causing them misfortune or or it's, yeah it's a woman giving him something that's causing him misfortune it's a gift that he felt like stole him away like he was con, tricked, and set up where he couldn't send messages of concern. Like, I'm trying to give an example of how I can explain this. This is like, okay, this is like everybody drug dealers, right? You on a block, we drug dealer, right? And like, and like, say, say, everybody hustling, right? And you linked up. 
you met someone out in the community that you thought was your friend that wasn't your friend for real for real this motherfucker was like a false person was fake as shit for real, for real was just trying to figure out how you hustle and really you ended up linking up with somebody else that you felt more hustled on your level right and this person wasn't finished learning your pimping like that you see what i'm saying so what they try to do is is offer you a gift you see what i'm saying say look hey look why don't you add this amount of whatever into the pot and it's gonna make your 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 batch better you know what i'm saying for whatever you cooking up right so this person is handing you this gift and you're not realizing that this idea, this plan, this thing that they're offering to you is going to fuck your product up. You see what I'm saying? And right behind this person's back, right behind this person's back is a trick, a scam, a scheme so that you can no longer get attention. You see what I'm saying? To get the attention that you desire. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like we selling drugs. We know we're doing something wrong here. You know what I'm saying? We already doing something fucked up. We already playing a dirty game. So who the fuck you going to run to? Go tell the police that I motherfucking fucked up your batch and took all your clientele because you went out there with some dumbass motherfucking mixture that I told you to put. This person, you know what I'm saying? It's like this person gave you an idea or lured you into doing something that fucked you up. You know what I'm saying? Where you were like in the palm of their hand. You know, when like you were in the palm of your hand and was taking you away from the person that you really wanted to hustle with. Because once this person seen that you was hustling like that, you putting out bad product into the community. You see what I'm saying? Like I ain't about to work with you like that. You putting out bad, bad product. You putting shit out there about to make people sick and shit like that. I can't be affiliated with you. You see what I'm saying? So... Like, this main female fucked it up, so this person can't even communicate. Like, this person can't even call the police and tell the police what they doing. Or, because <laughs> we selling drugs. Like, we selling drugs. We giving people fucked up shit. You see what I'm saying? I just I just tricked you and I gave you some fucked up shit and stole all your clientele. And you can't even go run and tell nobody what the fuck I did. Like, you can't even go send nobody no message of concern and shit because we playing this dirty game there's no honor amongst thieves do you get what i'm saying y'all following me okay okay so let's let's see what the hell is going on in the shadow and light real quick i wanna love you in every kind of way there's still a whole bunch of love songs in the back how long it takes if the world should end tomorrow oh the ghost of the past the past returns for a time. So the past is coming back, Cancer. Ooh, sweet memories. Dry fairy family. Ooh, that's why all that love and shit is in the back. Because I need it. I love you for like a fairy season. Never gonna say it forever, babe. It don't get no better than this. Oh, I feel like cancer just wants to like, I feel like they really want to kiss somebody. I feel like they've been thinking about this cancer is ready to take the mask off. You see how this person has take the mask in the, in the hand. And I feel like the ghost of the past, the past is returned for a time. I feel like there might be a chance bump into someone from the past, someone that gives them sweet memories, this beautiful fairy. And I feel like Cancer's gonna take the the mask off. They're gonna tell them I'm gonna love you in every kind of way. And I really feel like I wanna love you. I gotta love you. I wanna love you. Oh my God, like that shit is making my stomach turn. It's like, oh, like, you know, like how you feel when, um, you know how you feel when you first start dating somebody and when you get around them, you get butterflies in your stomach because they make you nervous. Like, that's what I'm feeling right now. I want to see what cancer has to say about this person. 
And then Big Booty, and then Big, and then Freak, whoever the fuck this is, is somebody that I fuck him up in the air. Can you see him in his eyes? And then time I leave him on red, they just, I rock it out. Hey, no, like whoever the fuck this is, is a big old freak. Whoever this is, is a big old freak. I feel like Cam should be thinking about kissing him. Cam should be thinking about the sex. I feel like there's a spiritual partnership here. But I feel like whatever happened with this person that they're having to... So, who? give me guys, how does cancer feel? It says, I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. Yeah, I told you a spiritual connection. Give me guidance. How does cancer feel? How does cancer feel? What is this? I'm working towards a better future. Yeah, I told you to clean up the environment. You still take my breath away. One more. Ooh, that's a lot more. Okay. Got a lot to say, huh, Cancer? What is it saying? I don't think I could take your reaction right now. Yeah, because someone, they're in a situation right now where they literally cannot come to whoever the fuck this is because of all of the drama that's going on. I'm still trying to find myself. I can't take this no more. I just got caught up in the moment. So I feel like whoever this person that cancer is with or, or this, this, this person that they met out in the community again and like I said and it's been it's been really big in the cancers reading like cancers they they like attention they fall in love with anyone that'll give them attention they can have a happy home at home they can have the most comfortable environment at home the most loving environment at home but if they go to work or if they're somewhere and it's someone giving them a whole bunch of attention and affection and, and showing them a lot of like they're attracted to them they will fall in love with anybody that's, that shows them attention I don't know why the chariot in reverse yeah they, they, they can't get their emotions together to move forward in regards to whoever this person is, that um, older woman, whoever the older woman is in the situation between the two women, the one that he wants to marry, not the main woman, the lovers in reverse, yeah, the eight of coins, yeah, he ain't working on the two of swords, I feel like Okay, so right now, I feel like, um, cause that's Cancer and a Gemini. So Cancer could possibly be dealing with a Gemini, um, because we got the Chariot right next to the Lovers. I feel like, um, there is no moving forward in regards to a love that could possibly be with a Gemini, or um, what is this? This um, with an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, um. There's no more forward movement in regards to this love. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of drama here that has to do with cancer feeling like they were tricked and they were manipulated and they were conned. And so they couldn't move forward to the person that they really love. And they feel like this person is trying to bait them into more misfortune into their life almost like there's something going on with a baby there's something going on with a baby and parenting here y'all need to tell me what the fuck is going on with that shit because it's like cancer feel like i I'm, i wasn't the main man they feel like they wasn't the main man and they don't want this child and they don't think that this child is theirs and they're moving away because they want change and this person is like no bitch you gonna work this out and cancer is like no the fuck I'm not like I don't even see you no I'm not working this shit out with you at the fuck all oh, ain't that the eight of pentacles yeah the eight of pentacles only thing that's fucked up with cancer right now I feel like their emotions is so fucked up behind this shit with this um chariot in reverse like they don't even know where the fuck to go they don't even know I just don't feel like they can't they can't see 
what the future looks like. It's just like they just don't know what the fuck to do right now. Like they can't make a decision right now. They really can't. Give me guidance right now for cancer. Thank you. Give me guidance for my cancers. Oh, sweetness, feathers, protections. I feel like y'all are getting the sweetness back into your life. And y'all definitely feel protected. Red. I feel like there's a lot of passion going on here. Since passion, there's a lot of anger. But you guys are building up courage and strength as well. You guys are like seeing red. And just red is your color. Maybe you like seeing red on people or something like that. But yeah, I think right now the main things that are poking. Oh, yeah, I feel red. Y'all look. Y'all are taking your fate into your own hands right now. I feel like y'all passion and your anger is just so filled up right now. I feel like y'all seeing red behind this situation. So much that your passion and anger has filled up your courage and your strength to play your cards right this time. Like you, you like you like, man, I'm taking my fate in my own hand. Like I, I I'm playing the cards that I was dealt the right motherfucker way. I know what my fate is. And I'm taking courage and a strength. And I'm taking all my passions and I'm going out there and go getting that shit. Because motherfuckers, I think motherfuckers done pissed cancer the fuck off, right? And they want peace and sweetness and stuff like that. They want the peace and the sweetness in their life right now. And they just feel like they are protected to do whatever the fuck they want to do to take their fate into their own hands. They're like, man, fuck y'all. And that's why I feel like cancer is cutting out a lot of motherfuckers. And they're cleaning up their environment. They're getting people out of here. They are un- Tangling itself from this spider web. This I'm trying to tell you, they feel like this person was a fucking magician. Like they was a, like this person did a spell or trick or something on them and try to lure them into this spider web and try to eat them alive for their own personal thing for an eternity, huh? Like this person wanted them trapped in their web for an eternity. And they, they said, no, I'm I'm getting out of this shit. You see all that spider web? Listen, someone pissed cancer the fuck off. Pissed cancer the fuck off. They're seeing red. They're, they are taking their fate into their own hands. They're seeing red. Okay? They got courage. They are angered to courage and, and taking their strength back. Okay? They a motherfucker taking their fate into their own hands. They are untangling themselves out of this web, okay? This person tried to lure them into this web for an eternity. They said, I will not, bitch. I the fuck will not. Try again, try another fuck, nigga. It won't be me. It won't be me. And I keep hearing that ain't my fucking baby. And yeah, you gonna have to take me to court and I ain't giving you a motherfucking dime until you prove me that's my motherfucking baby. That's why this whole shit started off with they not taking care of this person no more. Like, they're like, I'm not giving you shit. I'm not offering you shit. I'm putting all my food into my environment, into a loving environment. And if cancer actually has kids on his own or kids on her own, I'm going off of, ooh, fuck. Damn. I see that bound card. Damn, cancer. Alright, so listen. I feel like cancer feels admired or they're admiring someone. They feel admired. Yeah, I feel like cancer feels admired right now. There they go wanting that fucking attention again. Now, you seen what that attention got you into last time. But I don't see that they're succumbing to it. They're not surrendering to it this time. They're, they're guided. They're guided. Because I feel like they can't get over the regret of this situation that they're bound to right now. Yeah, they feel admired, but they're not, they're not giving in to the shit. Because they, they regret, they feel admired, but they're not giving into this shit. Like I said, they are not giving to this anymore. You see, before they were offering, they were taking care, they were giving this person. No, 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 no. They're not doing that shit no more. Because they feel like this person is trying to poison me. 
like they feel like this person is trying to guide them to do something that they're going to fucking regret and trying to get them trapped and bounded to them again and i feel like cancer is trying to get the fuck away from that because i feel like they really regret even getting involved with this person because now they're trapped and bound to this person i feel like they feel trapped they felt manipulated and they got trapped that's all because they all because they they like they like mm. I feel like this shit happened in the springtime. I feel like you guys mirror negative energy against each other. You can't refocus. And I feel like right now you're not forgiving yourself for involving this third party in your... Yeah, you don't forgive yourself. All because you... Couldn't stop surrendering to being admired. You being admired by someone got you in this whole fucking third party situation. Because there's a main woman and there's the older woman. Your need and your want to be admired. You're not being able to surrender to the want of being <laughs> admired. That guided you right into a situation that you're going to regret for the rest of your life because you tied up to somebody that you ain't no way in hell you can get away from this motherfucker and i really do feel like that is your child cancer so if you think that's i mean but cancer is basically saying bitch i'm not giving you shit until you take me to court and prove to me that that's my baby you're not giving you nothing because they don't believe you because cancer believes that this person that they were not the only man that they were not the main man Okay, I feel like y'all met each other in the spring and right now y'all are mirroring negative energy with each other. It's a lot of dark energy. Y'all mirroring negative energy. And like I said, this is a very toxic connection here. This is an extremely toxic connection right here. And I feel like cancer cannot refocus right now and they don't forgive their self. They, they forgive. They cannot forgive their self for involving this third party. Because I feel like they really love the older woman and now they're trapped and they're bounded to this person because they got a they got a child by this person. They got a child by this person. And they want a spiritual connection. They want that spiritual partnership. Give me my last spread and we're getting up out of here. I said, I'm not giving you shit till you take me to court. Give me guidance. Yeah, look, again, like, cancer feels like they got their guard up and this person is trying to lure them into, like, this spider web trap. Damn, son. Give me guidance for cancer. I feel like they're trying to... Like this person is trying to... What is this? No, but they're taking their word into their hands. They're leaving, they're leaving two things behind. And they're taking their magic stick. I feel like cancer has found their own power. And they, they've regained their strength. And they learn how to like boss up and take their own word into their own hands. They're like, I'm leaving this bullshit behind. You're not about to lure me back into this fucking trap with you. Got me fucked up. Give me guidance. Give me guidance for my cancers. Mid May. Oh yeah. This was most definitely a love formed in hell. This is a love formed in hell. They regret this connection. Like this person is like a very toxic individual and cancer does not love this person and don't know how or why they got into this person's life and they cutting this motherfucker out and i mean vigorously i mean cancer is i cancer is like i feel a cuss out coming i just don't feel like cussing cancer i really don't i really don't it's a star card in the reverse. I feel like cancer didn't know their worth. 
They had to go through this darkness. They had to go through this rain. They had to go through this shadow period to pour out things that was within itself that they don't that they know that they don't like. I feel like they just living in a lifestyle that just wasn't healthy and that wasn't good for their betterment in their future. And they had to go through a dark shadow period. And I feel like right now they're going through the storm right now. And they're cutting, they're cutting out somebody. And I feel like they're planting new seeds somewhere else. And they're just being patient and they're waiting for it to grow. They're waiting for the outcome. The Empress. The Empress. But this Empress not pregnant though. This empress is not pregnant though. Like this is someone that is like a young empress. This is someone that is just like she's young and she's very. This is someone that he definitely don't have no kids with. And you see how she's holding that little um what is that piece of piece of uh I don't know. It looks like a little wand or something like that. I feel like this is a very creative woman. A woman. She's extremely, extremely beautiful. I feel like she looks very young. Um, I feel like she wears jewelry. She wears like a. She wears like a lot of like bracelets or or, or necklaces and stuff like that, and. She's very spiritual. You see the stars and stuff. You see how she's outside and stuff like that. Oh, the spiritual, spiritual partnership. Yeah. I feel like this is someone that's new to like learning about spirituality and creation and, and things like that. And I feel like this cancer looks like this girl is magical. And I feel like this person is waiting for this young empress to enter into his life. I feel like before he didn't know his worth. He didn't know his value and he was like operating on a low vibration and he had to face his demons almost. He had to face his shadow side, you know, and right now he is not being so nice about cutting out people that he really don't love. He's going through a very tough, toxic period and I feel like it's a very, a lot of deep fucked up arguments because they're leaving the cancer is leaving two things behind and taking their fate into their hands and they're extremely balanced with that yin and yang right there and they're not allowing their self to be lured in because they're like if i go back in here with you i'm gonna end up having a fight again and as you can see this person you see how his head is wrapped and shit like that that's why i'm trying to tell you whoever this person is false love that he cut out like this person is extremely violent like y'all they, they had a very dark violent relationship it's a very dark violent relationship mm, mm, mm. give me one more spread and we out of here one more clarification spread and we out of here i gave y'all extra with that uh, with that work and twin flame Give me one more word of guidance for my cancers, please. Oh, what is this? All oh, the Ace of Cups and search for true love. And search for divine true love. I guess with this spiritual partner of theirs. Uh-huh. Okay, so I feel like right now, Cancer is in love again. Cancer is in love again and most definitely wants to start a new passionate beginning in love. But I just feel like right now they're not happy because this is the chariot in reverse. They don't know. They don't know how to move forward. They don't know how to approach this person. I feel like it's not been illuminated to them how to express their love. Like they don't know how to express their love. Like I feel like no one's never taught them how to like really express love correctly. Mm-hmm. But he wants this person's attention. He wants this person's attention. He wants this person's attention. Of course we always know cancer is always in need of attention. But I feel like and then I also feel like the booties that 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 they're touching on right now it's just like possibly just random ass people 
I don't. It's not the person that they really want to approach. Cause look at the person. You see the person that he want to approach. You see how she's sitting up there sleeping. I feel like he's allowing her to rest and kind of heal a little bit. And he's trying to. He's definitely watching her. Cancer is most definitely watching whoever this person. Is, he's watching her while she's sleeping and she's healing and stuff like that. While she's sleeping and she's healing and he's watching her. He's not healing. He's not getting this. He's not getting his emotions together. He's just going out there getting the kitchen and rubbing on new booties. You know what I'm saying? He's just like, you know, well, this this person won't give me attention. Or I, I don't. It's like, it's like they're in search for new love. And I feel like they're not happy because they can't get their emotions together to go towards the one that they want to go towards. So they can't go towards that one. They're just going to find attention from anybody that'll let them touch them. The how we're fitting in reverse. Yeah, they still out there on this bullshit. Cancer gotta keep two women. That's that's their way of being. That's what they subscribe to. That is they like that lifestyle of just having two women at all times. Mm-hmm. And strength. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like Cancer is alone right now and they going through some financial trouble because I feel like this person, this this main female, is trying to get them in court and trying to take all of their money. And the Knight of Swords, yeah, they they having to fight off this person that. Oh, I get it, I get it. I feel like I get it. Cancer is saying to me, listen, I subscribe to a player lifestyle. Okay, I always kept two bitches, and that is something I'm trying to get control over right now because that's a beast that's in me and I'm trying to control it because at the end of the day me living and me subscribing to that lifestyle it got me in a predicament where I'm fucking with somebody that is raping my pockets dry I feel like I'm in a very controlled and aggressive and abusive and dominating situation right now that I wish I'd have never got myself into and this person is literally trying to take me for every fucking thing that I got financially okay so I feel like cancer is trying to right now find the strength to kind of change their lifestyle kind of not really I don't know Mm -hmm. Clarify this um this hierophant in this strength card for me because I feel like I do feel like because it's like what hierophant really has two bitches on a card, you know? I feel like they're trying to control their need to be in that type of way because it's brought them so much trouble. The Queen of Swords, yeah. And then the star in reverse, yeah. This Queen of Swords in reverse. So they could date, uh, possibly be dating a, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. But whoever this female is, like, this person is a liar. This person is cold. This person is manipulative. That's the same energy that's up here. This person is manipulative. This person is not commitment material that kind of makes sense for why they feel like they wasn't the main man and I feel like this person doesn't know their values what is this the nine of cups the nine of cups in reverse there's no emotional fulfillment with this person the moon their secrets with this person like I told you, they feel like this person was a liar. This person was cheating on them. The fool. They felt like they jumped off the cliff, like being a fool, getting involved with this person. Yeah. And now they're in a battle of their life that they're trying to get themselves out of. They're tired of, like, they are literally battling for their, do you see this card? This motherfucker's up in the air, like, beating everybody down with a stick. And they're just like, man, I'm tired of motherfucker fighting. With you, bitch. <laughs> like, I was a fool. I was a fool. 
Mm. Anyway, Karen, so I gotta go. I'm not digging into this anymore. If y'all need any additional information, y'all make sure y'all um click that about tab and um link me up for personal and private reading. But it looks like for real, for real, cancer. It's most definitely cleaning up their environment. They're in love with somebody. They're most definitely in love with an older woman or the person in the scenario between the two women who is the older woman. He's in love with that person and he definitely wants to go and marry this person. But I feel like he got himself in this predicament with this main woman that he felt like he wasn't the main man with. That was, as we could see, was a third party. When a third party and they regret and don't forgive themselves for this situation. They feel trapped and bound to this person and they can't even send a message for help. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. Bye.